when you think of Christmas markets in Europe, you think of the ones in Germany, like we went to a couple of weeks ago. You think of the ones in France and Austria and Switzerland and Finland. And Places you, that are really cold. Yes, and you don't actually think of Porto in Portugal as a place for Christmas markets. But since we're spending Christmas in Porto yeah. and we keep seeing adverts for Christmas markets popping up all over the city, we decided to check them out and see how they compare to the more traditional ones. We don't know what to expect, Not we don't yet. know what they sell, we don't know whether there's food, we don't know whether you there's You promised me there was drink. food I and drink. We don't know. So basically I would have liked to have tried some food but I'm not sure if I can today. Sarah did have a bit of an op on her wisdom teeth, so she looks a bit like a chipmunk. She Just might on drool. one side. Just on one she side. She might drool when she uh, eats and drinks, but that'll be part of the fun, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Sarah, let's go check this out. Okay. So our first stop is the Palacio de Cristal, the Crystal Palace Christmas Market. Uh, we don't see any signs to it. There's a lot of chickens and a lot of other birds. Okay, there's a chicken, a rooster coming it towards us. It wants to be in the video. We have a feeling that looking behind us, there's like a big kind of arena that it might be inside, so. I'm gonna guess it's outside. Sarah, do you wanna guess it's inside? I think it looks like it's inside. Let's go find out. I found it. Is it like not here? It's been moved, it's been relocated to Clarigush Tower, which is even closer to our place. Are you Let's serious? Go. so cool. So, <laughs> in search of the Christmas market that is supposed to be in the Crystal Palaces, we have actually come to another Christmas market in the Cordoria Gardens and I've just found a helpful plan that Eddie was going to talk about but then I remembered he doesn't read Portuguese. So apparently there's a Christmas market, there's an ice rink, there is a Parisian carousel, there is an enchanted wood, Father Christmas's house, um, a Christmas tent, a crystal tent where there's workshops and concerts. So let's go and take a look. So our first impression is it's a lot quieter than the German market. Um, and we could actually move around without, without being bumped. Yes, and I've got my backpack so I don't have to worry about kind of walloping people or knocking over a certain stand. It seems really well done. Uh, there are definitely lots of stands that we want to go have a look at. Lots of like different arts and crafts, not all necessarily like Christmas themed. Uh, but uh, it seems to be local, um, local businesses, which is pretty cool. What did you get, Sarah? I got the hot chocolate and I got you the mulled wine. Cool. <laughs> Wow, what a, <laughs> what a great uh, experience so far. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, so this is a very chilled market. I, I do wonder if all of the Christmas markets in Porto we're going to see are like this because it's just like not that well known that they have them here in the city. So it is definitely not something that hundreds of thousands of tourists flock to specifically. So it's quite nice to be able to walk around and check out what we want. And um, chat to the people a bit more about, you know, what they've made. I mean, I have got a mulled wine and comparing it to Berlin, it's different, but similar and pretty awesome. And Sarah, I have a hot chocolate, which is like a melted brownie. It is gorgeous. It is so nice. We found it on one of the stalls here. Um, so as you might know from Berlin, they tend to give you these um, ceramic cups, which are very Christmassy in their decorations, which you pay a deposit for. And if you want to keep it, then, well, basically you don't return the cup. Um, and you don't get your deposit back, or about three euros. Yeah. But you pay about five euros for the mulled wine. And this, it costs how much, 250? 
three euros per drink. So six euros for two drinks. Yes, they're in uh, paper cups, but you know, it's actually a lot cheaper. I'm loving this one here in the Cordoeria Gardens because they have like made such an effort with the Christmas decorations um, and with the lighting on the trees. It is really beautiful. So we're just gonna stay here, chill for a little bit longer and then go on to the next one. One thing I would like to say, it is a lot warmer here than Germany. I feel so stupid that I've bought gloves and I've got a scarf and everything just like ready for the winter, but it really, it really isn't necessary. <laughs> so we're walking one hell of a steep hill. I'm leaving Sarah behind. I know they say don't leave anyone behind. No, but you're not. <laughs> everyone thinks we're crazy, but I can't lose to Sarah. I need a rest now. Second Christmas market in Batalha Square, and it is teeny tiny. Un poquito. Un poquito, a little. It's just very small. It's very cute. It's cute. There's only a few stalls. There's not many people, so you can walk around. But there isn't very much to do. You can literally go around the market in one minute, <laughs> which we did twice. So our conclusion is that Germany really does know how to do Christmas markets and Porto is learning. It's getting there. Maybe learning. next year we'll do a comparison, yes. part two, and see what next yes, year is like. Yes, it is learning how to do it. So what we are going to do now is we are going to take you um, on one of the most famous shopping streets in Porto downtown to actually what is our favorite market. It's not a Christmas market but it is our favorite market just so that you can see what it looks like. And so we can do a third one because I feel we promised you three, we've done two, let's get you that third one. We were hoping for a bonus in there, but it doesn't look like it. Can I get some winter port wine, yes, please? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. So we've just got this mulled port wine, which means it's fortified. It's going to be a lot stronger than anything we've had yet um, in Berlin or in Portugal. It's really warm. I'm super excited. They did put an orange in there, some aniseed, like actual physical fruit. Not this is not a liquid, and a cinnamon stick as well. So I'm super excited, it smells amazing. Let's give it a go. That's got a kick. This is part two. Sarah just came in and gulped half of it. As you can see, there isn't much left. <laughs> this was three and a half euros, which I think for port wine and a, you know, a large portion of port wine is excellent. And now it's my turn. I keep seeing all over the markets this evening these little cake things and I'm gonna go buy one. You've got your mulled wine. I have my cake, which I will try in a little bit. We can tell you a little bit more about this market. It is called the Bouillon Market. It is really famous for being one of the oldest markets in Porto. And it was recently renovated to have loads of very cute stalls. They still have local produce, cheese, um, but olives, they, olive oil, like everything. everything. 
but they also have some more traditional but touristy products. They have little wine bars, um, they have fishmongers, but they also sell sushi as well. And we've been coming here for a couple of months now to get our fruit and veg and our coffee, and we love it. It is such a cute vibe. Even if it's not a Christmas market, we wanted to include it in this vlog because we love it and it does look really Christmassy. Sarah is tucking straight into that monster. I think you should hold it close to the camera. So I am just going to hold it close because you Don't can drop see it. the name. It's called the Bomboka. And I went for the salted caramel flavor. And I, I don't actually know what to expect when I bite into it. I just hope my mouth's going to be able to handle it. Okay. Go see. for it, eat it. Can you even fit it in your mouth? <laughs> is it ice cream inside? What's inside? got like a really gooey marshmallow center so it's actually the perfect cake if you just had your wisdom tooth taken out. Does that mean but, you want another one? Mm, mm. And how much was it? A euro fifty you said? Mm-hmm. I think mm. you should buy a couple more take home with you. Mm, mm. Yeah take a couple more. Mm. So it is like thin chocolate on the outside and then inside it's like gooey marshmallow with whatever taste you've chosen, which in this case, it's the salted caramel. How's your old wine going? I've almost finished it. The lady uh, who served it to us just walked past, so I just said hi. And um, yeah, it is great. I've almost finished it. I do think we need to go eat some food because I'm going to be wobbling home. There is always saying no. that we're going to run out of battery and here you are filming birds. I just want to say that Eddie had chicken last night. Twice. How do you feel For about lunch that? lunch and dinner. Sarah's camera is shaking, and why are you shaking? <laughs> you only had a gulp. You didn't have a cup. Put the, the lights off. Oh, okay. okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Good evening. Good evening, <laughs> thank you.